Now see this. This is again a very very important question. This came in NEET PG 2022 as an image based question and uh, they had just asked the spot diagnosis. They had just asked the spot diagnosis. You can see this is a pseudo exfoliation syndrome or pseudo exfoliative glaucoma because um, what you can see in the picture you can see this dandruff like material because you are seeing the dandruff like material therefore it is a pseudo exfoliative glaucoma and it is a secondary open angle glaucoma it's a secondary open angle glaucoma okay now once you know this another thing which is important for 2023 is this here you can see the pigments pigments on the posterior surface of the cornea posterior surface of the cornea the pigments on the posterior surface of the cornea these are actually called as the Krukenberg spindles these are called as the Krukenberg spindles very very important and um, they are present in the pigmentary glaucoma they are present in the pigmentary glaucoma which is important for 2023 and when you get this Krukenberg spindles another important sign is the Sempau Lazy's line. Another important thing is the Sempau Lazy's line. Sempau Lazy's line will be the pigments along the shawl base line. Pigments along the Schalwey's line will be called as the Sampaulazy's line and what is Schalwey's line? That is another MCQ. Schalwey's line is the prominent end of. This is the prominent end of the Desmond's membrane. Prominent end of the Desmond's membrane of the cornea. Now you cannot see the Schalwey's line by the naked eye or by the slit lamp alone. So it is seen only on gonioscopy. That is why this will be a gonioscopic finding. Therefore, this will be a gonioscopic finding. 